You may have a favorite family recipe, but with chili, the possibilities are endless. TV chef Jerry Jeffrey Sod is here to show us some seasonal twists for this fall favorite. Good morning, Jeffrey. How are you? Good morning. Good. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. Um, what is it about chili that makes it such a family favorite? I think chili is a family favorite because we all have one. We all have a recipe we go to, whether it's mom's, grandma's, or your favorite TV chef. Everyone swears by a version of their chili. But what makes it so great is it's a one-pot dish, which we always love. It warms your body, warms your soul, especially as the weather starts to get you know chilly. And no matter which version you do, the one thing they all have in common is they're delicious. But we can amp it up even further, which is what I'm going to show you today. What are the most popular ways to make chili? Well, a new trend that is delicious is these chili beans. And I love them because the beans themselves are actually simmered in a chili sauce, spices. So, you, you know, the second you pop the top, you're already halfway to delicious chili. So we've got kidney bean here, a little bit more traditional. We've got a white chicken chili. And that's great because it's even thickened with a little bit cream of chicken soup. My mother would love that one. That's so Midwest, gives it viscosity and kind of texture and flavor. You got a great vegetarian chili, which doesn't even make you think that you're missing meat because mm. it's so hearty with the black beans and kidney beans. So these are kind of great bases to jump from. They're delicious by themselves, or you can use the chili beans to amp up your already favorite family recipe. I cannot wait to try the vegetarian. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, what are some uh, new twists on this meal? You know, I think some twists for sure are thinking about getting flavor in the pot, browning the meat, charring the onions, adding mm. flavorful broths, right? But then there's also lots of twists that you can do on top of the chili because everyone loves to make it their own, right? Customization is such a popular thing, great for kids, adults with different, mm -hmm. you know, preferences. So instead of just having, you know, a grated cheddar and jack cheese, maybe you have a creamy goat cheese or a manchego cheese. If you're doing manchego, maybe you're putting a little paprika into the sour cream to complement that and to brighten up the color of the chili. You know, maybe you're roasting whole peppers, grilling red onions to put on top. The other thing, if you're a real meat lover, I love searing a piece of steak, nice and medium rare and juicy, cube it. And one steak is enough for many people because you're just putting a few cubes on top as kind of a garnish. So it, it's endless ways to do it. And then you can take advantage of the season. You know, if there's some beautiful kale at the market, saute that with some chili flakes and lemon. It'll wilt down, stir it into the chili at the last minute. You'll get great color, especially in the white chili. And Jeffrey, what are some pantry staples we can use to help us um, create the perfect bowl of chili? Yeah, pantry is key, right? Because if you get inspired and then you have an empty pantry, inspiration fades fast, right? So if you have a stock pantry, all your cooking will be great, including your chilies. So I like to have lots of beans. There's a bean for every mood and for every dish you're trying to do. So have the white beans, the great northerns, have garbanzos, have black, pinto, kidney. Because a lot of times, especially if you have kids, you'll decide to mix them all together and have a totally new and interesting chili. Mm -hmm. Have a lot of great broths. You know, the flavor, you know, a lot of the flavor comes from the base, from the liquid that you're gonna choose to put in. So have a really good veggie broth. And you should taste those broths by themselves. If they're taste good by themselves and not too salty, then you know they're gonna be great in your chili. Um, have good tomato. I love a tomato puree, like a San Marzano or Palmy makes those great little boxes where you can just add that to get some thickness and color. And then spices, spice it up. Find your favorite spices and keep those stocked, whether it's cumin seed or whether it's paprika, whether it's dried thyme and rosemary, some dried herbs. If you have all those things, there's no way you're not gonna have a delicious chili. Um, where can we get more recipe um, inspiration? Where can we find out more? Yeah, we've barely begun giving you all the chili options there are. So if you go to bushbeans.com, I've partnered up with these guys. We've created some great recipes, fantastic tips even for the experienced cooks, as well as menu and meal ideas. So check it out and you will have a great chili season and you'll be cooking delicious all year long. I'm looking forward to trying some of these recipes myself as well as sharing them. Um, I want to thank you so much for your time, and I hope you have an amazing afternoon. My pleasure. Thank you.